Please be seated. Distinguished guests, the Chancellor of the University of Greenwich, the Right Honourable, the Lord Boateng of Akim and Wembley. Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, graduates, friends and family. Isn't it great to be here? To be here in these incredible surroundings. Surroundings that are designed to shock or to inspire. Each and every one of you has provoked at least one of those emotions. Uh, some maybe two. None, I hope, three, because we're not shocked that they're here, are we? Are we? No. We're glad that you are here. We're glad you've reached this stage in your careers. We are in awe of your achievement, each and every one of you, and all of us, the whole community, is inspired by the thought of what is to come for each and every one of you. But none of you would be here without family and friends. So why don't we give them a round of applause? You all have contributed to their presence here today. You all, every one of you, family and friends, have made it possible for them to achieve what they have. And it's my job as Chancellor, representing the whole and wider community, to thank you. To thank you for all you've done to bring them to this point, and to thank you all, not just for your achievements to date, significant though they are, but also to thank you for what is to come. Greenwich is a great world university, and as I was coming into uh, the university today from DLR, just the number of different languages that I heard 
was an indication of just what a global reach this university has. You represent the whole and the wider world. And the world needs what you bring to the table at this time. We live in a world that is grappling with inequality, grappling with a cost of livings crisis, grappling with climate change and the struggle for sustainability. The sustainability goals, all of them rightly put an emphasis on higher education for their delivery. And the skills that you have developed while studying as you have been, the skills that will enable you to contribute to the world of business, enterprise, and the economy, the relationships that you have developed one with the other will stand you individually in good stead in the years to come. But importantly, they represent our best hope for building a better world. So for you, for us, your friends and family, for the world, the best is yet to come. And none of that would be possible without your teachers, without the wider membership of our university family who have stood behind you to bring you to this point. So let us all give them a round of applause, shall we? And now, now we get on with delivering to each of you your degrees, your hard-earned recognition of your academic merit. But we want to send you out of here with a sense of all that you can do and our enthusiasm for your doing it. And there's a wonderful phrase in language I must admit I didn't hear as I was walking from Greenwich DLR today, uh, but it's a widely spoken language in southern Africa, where I worked at one stage in my life as Her Majesty's High Commissioner. And it's a phrase I want you all to remember. Not just now, as you leave here, but throughout your life, as an inspiration to do what you have to do, when you have to do it, with the spirit and focus that you need to do it. And that word is this, viku zen Viku zen zeli. Viku. You can all do better than that. Viku zen zeli. And viku zen zeli means just get up, get out there, and do it. Just get up, get out there, and do it. Bring that spirit to your life. And we're going to say that word three times, getting louder every time, just so you don't forget it. Viku zen zele. 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 Just get out there, get up and do it. Thank you very much.
Uh, the Pro Vice Chancellor from the Greenwich Business School, University of Greenwich, Professor Lee Doster. Dear graduates, guests, and members of the university community, it is my absolute honour to welcome you to today's graduation. As the Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of Greenwich Business School, it is my pleasure to congratulate our wonderful graduates on your amazing achievements. And I'd like to start the ceremony by asking every single person to put their hands together and give a huge round of applause for the graduates of the University of Greenwich. So that was quite a good start, but I think you can do better than that. Graduates of the School of Business Operations and Strategy, BOSS, I think we can do better than that. Let's have another go. This chapel is a truly special place in which to host today's ceremony. And it reminds us of the university's 130 year history as a seat of learning, something, something we take enormous pride in. And this heritage is one of high standards of teaching and research and the reason why thousands of students from across the world come, come and study with us every year. And we continue to build and enrich our legacy every year, and this year has been no different. We, the university, the meaning of the word university is more than just the sum of its parts. It's an academic community. It's, a, it's our wonderful professional services staff, and it's our outstanding students. Our achievements have brought us together today, but within those collective endeavours, there are some specific achievements that I would like to spend just a moment reflecting upon as we near the end of the academic year 2023. We are really proud at Greenwich Business School to have developed and approved a new suite of vibrant, dynamic and employability-led programmes in emerging areas such as data analytics, digital marketing and fintech, plus new apprenticeships this year. So as alumni, you can be confident that your university is future fit. And to support these new programmes, we are also installing a new trading floor and digital marketing lab ready for the start of our next academic year. We were also delighted this year to host the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport's London Regional Student Conference, where we welcomed experts from around the sector and were also honoured to welcome Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, who gave a motivating speech and met with some of our students and staff. There have also been some wonderful individual successes this year, all of our students are outstanding with endless potential and I wish I could give you more examples, but I will just give you a few. Navin Sawa was one of our international students from Nepal who graduated with a distinction in MA International Tourism and Hospitality Management in 2022. He is now working as general manager at XCHG Venues in central London. Naveen is also giving back to our school and our students by becoming a member of, the, of our school advisory board. Ben Tippett graduated in MSc Economics with us back in 2018. He then completed a PhD in Economics with a VC scholarship in 2022. His first postdoc job was at King's College London as a Leverhulme Research Fellow, but then he came back to the University of Greenwich as a lecturer in economics in September 2022, and has this month been selected to submit a research proposal to the UKRI Future Leaders Schemes. 
One of the things I love about this university is that our, our alumni very often come back to us and give back or contribute or become part of the, of the faculty. Viara Rasuva graduated in 2013 with a BA Business Economics degree. She then went on to do a master's degree in political economy of Europe at the London School of Economics. And Viara has since worked as a European policy um, consultant for VVA Europe and is at the Government Economic Service. She is currently a senior economist and head of trade policy analysis at HM Treasury. So our, our students really do go on and achieve amazing things. So if you set your heart and minds to it, I know you can go on and achieve extraordinary things, just like the very many alumni who were once sitting in this seat not too long ago. There are many more examples of Greenwich graduates who have gone on to become world leaders, Nobel Prize winners, influential campaigners, playwrights, musicians or business owners, and you can learn more about them in, in our Greenwich Portrait series. But today, I, along with everyone else at the university, look forward with interest to see how your careers develop, how you shape your future. Graduating can be daunting, but I have full faith that each and every one of you will go on and achieve amazing things. With your wide-ranging experience and the university's outstanding employability record, you are fully prepared for the next big challenges ahead. So for today and for the future, I offer you my very best wishes and sincere congratulations on your achievements today. I think another round of applause is very much in order. And I will finish by drawing on the words of poet Mary Carey, who said, a university is a city of ideas and we are very grateful that you became citizens of our city. So, Greenwich graduates of 2023, celebrate your success. Go out as citizens of our university to realise your ambitions, make your dreams a reality and make a difference to the world. Thank you. Greenwich Students' Union Officer, Aminul Islam Fahad. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm very happy to be here and to see all the graduates here today. My name is MD Amin Islam Fahad, and I'm an elected GSA officer for 2023 and 2024 from Greenwich Student Union. So I represent and work for students studying at Greenwich, Every Hill, and Medway. I'm honored to be here today to share this celebration with you and your loved ones. After years of hard work, late nights in the library, essays, labs, and exams, you have made it. Um, you did it, and we couldn't be prouder. Let's cheer for all of you. <laughs> Let's also make some noise for our friends, colleagues, and peers who share this journey with us. We loved with us, um, sometimes panicked with us, but ultimately, we got us here today. Let's cheer for them all. <laughs> Finally, let's give a cheer for those who supported us, the academics, the student staff, the uh, student leaders, of course, our loved ones. We couldn't have done it without your patience, your guidance, and your kindness. Cheer to them as well, please.
And now, today, you become alumni part of a fantastic community of Greenwich students who, no matter where they go, always have home in here. I know you are going to go on doing amazing things and share the lessons that you have learned over the years with others. You, as a Greenwich graduate, will take pieces of us with you and continue to build this community. I am so proud to be here, see you begin this next chapter. Thank you for letting me be part of your story. Enjoy the remedies and most of all celebrate. Thank you and cheer for all of you. Thank you. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, I now call upon Professor Petros Irmanahu to present to you award holders from the Greenwich Business School. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the award holders from the Greenwich Business School. From the School of Business, Operations and Strategy, and for the Certificate of Higher Education Business Management, Lebaika Arshet. Martina Fuchs. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Business Management, Rauf Abdul. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Business Management, Rauf Abdul. Anika Tabsham Ahmed. <laughs> Mohammed Shakil Ahmed. <laughs> Pir Tasnimul Ahmed. Ramisa Alam. <laughs> Mahbub Ali. <laughs> Hesa Al Mesaid. Sikiru Adeyanju Apanishile. <laughs> Sonia Azhar. <laughs> Patrick Bogumil Bebek. Sumiaya Begu. <laughs> Saida Janina Begu. <laughs> Gorang Gajanang Bakewa. Helen Tatiana Bonilla Bolivar. <laughs> Lucas Lee Boyd. <laughs> Neusa Esmeraldina Lopez Cariata. Marcella Marlene Casillo. Irgena Selaj. Well 
Mahmoudul Hassan Chaudhry. Sumaya Sama Chaudhry. Mojolaulu Koke. Ryan Keen Gordon Robert Cooper. Amelia Sarah Jane Cox. James Stephen Crowley. Leanne Da Costa Da Costa. Nadina Denaila. Gisela Del Favero. Samuel Abi de Misi. Daniela Luca. Brittany Dooley. Ogeneovo Dumi. Andrew Tony Dye. <laughs> Masood Ahmed Famit. <laughs> Ramim Faisal. <laughs> Omar Ferry. Emily Cristel Garcia Pizon. Adolfo Jose Garcia Sifontes. Guillermo Gardiner Ramirez Escudero. Luis Steven Guayco Heredia. Gabriel Robin Harrison. Mohamed Abdi Hirsi. Venera Hiseni. Mohamed Imtiazul Hok. Mohamed Shamim Hok. Yasser Hussein. Mohamed Nur Islam. Onadi Eba Islam. <laughs> Rakibul Islam. <laughs> Samuel Islam. <laughs> Ponsathor Jitsakul.
Shakira Monique Johnson. Paige Miranda Jothimuthu. Yusuf Mohamed Kabiri. Comfort Konadu Kabore. Sujan Kalai Chelwan. Damian Kaluza. Mantautas Karalius. Sumanpreet Kaur. Jahid Khan. Samuel Alexander Kingsnorth. Benisola Mariam Colawole. Muskan Kumar. Jay Lagden. Subedad Achabi Ligali. Moin Ebrahimi Lue. <laughs> Stefano Magni. <laughs> Ragavan Mahendran. <laughs> Caroline Maus. Hassan Mazi. Arsida Memedi. Mohamed Azra Mia. Sharifun Tisa Mia Kanum. Margarida Isabel Miranda Martens. Katie Ma Mwanda Eye. Praise Love More Mtetwa. Teiwo Afiz Muda. Truf Chitendra Nankani. Amira Nonni. Samuel Chinedu Ogbonanga. <laughs> Clota Florence O'Neill.
Aniruddin Ramsin Pamar. Noelani Yvonne Pascal. Shannon Bethany Pemberton. Kaylee Ann Sabrina Povey Garman. Natalie Caroline Pozobon. Gideon Joseph Quaife. Atanaska Georgieva Radieva. Sadia Rahman. Mohamed Arifu Rahman. Naima Rahman. Mohammad Abidur Rahman. Tainaya Ashanti Ali Yarid. Wendy Mayara Rocha Vega. Emilia Rikowska. Anna Shatti. Charles C. Sequiere, who also... Charlie Sequiere, who also receives the David Gray Memorial Prize for Best Dissertation on Leadership and Organization. <laughs> Parvesh Sharma. <laughs> Rui Pedro Silva Mota. Sarthak Sinha. <laughs> Florentine Aline Serboyu. <laughs> Carla Paula Sousa Ferreira de Castro. Simona Stefureak. J. Thomas Summers. Rimi Sunzita. Samantha Thompson. Abrar Timol. Elisaveta Tiurina. Fahmida Udin. Lucia Vatkeviciute. <laughs> Veronica Vilsko Vilkovska. <laughs> B. 
Britni Kimanie Davida Walker. Hassan Wasim. <laughs> Alper Yilkenshi. <laughs> Sanjit Ahmed Yusuf. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Business with Marketing, Lucia Gardines Ramirez Escudero, who also receives the University of Greenwich Merit Award for Outstanding Achievement. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Business Management, Maria Nina Katiparambil Filatis. Aisha, Aisha Kes. <laughs> Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, that concludes the list of award holders from the Business School. Thank you. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Greenwich, Professor Jane Harrington, to confer the awards. Okay. Can I just ask you to stand up for me a moment? And by virtue of the powers vested in me as Vice-Chancellor of the University of Greenwich, I confer upon all those who have been presented the title, award and honours to which you are entitled. So in other words, you are now all graduates. Well done, everyone. You can sit down now. I'll have you up again in a minute, don't worry. And they think I'm joking. <laughs> now, Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, as the Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive Officer of the University of Greenwich, it is my absolute honour and privilege to formally congratulate all of you today. It is a day of celebration. And it is absolutely fantastic to be able to celebrate with so many of you. Today is a really important day for you, but it's also for those who've supported you along the way. And I'd like to encourage you to take a moment just to think about all the people that have helped you to get here, your family, your friends, your lecturers, and I'm sure you want to thank them. So I am actually am going to ask you, can you stand up again for me? And could you face your family and friends? And if they're online, we've got cameras, so you know where they are. And I'm going to count you in, to th in three, and I want you to show them quite how much you've really appreciated them. Now, you're quite noisy, so I think you could do quite well. Are you ready for this? One, two, three. <laughs> OK, just stay there a minute. Just, just a minute. Now, Lord Boating, do you think they were Chancellor? Mm, yeah, they could do better, couldn't they? Would you yes, agree? Definitely. Yeah, we definitely. Are you ready? Last chance. One, two, three. <laughs> you can sit down, and I think they did appreciate you. <laughs> now, graduation marks the end of an important part of your lives and the beginning of the next. And I know that each of you has taken a really unique journey to get to this moment. And as you walk out today, 
you are taking with you wonderful memories, friends that you've made, skills that you've gained, and each and every one of your accomplishments. And I really ask you to spend some time over the next few days really just stopping and recording those so that any moment in your life when you need to remind yourselves of actually how fantastic you are, it's always there for you to refer to. Now, I know that many of you have juggled multiple responsibilities. You've cared for your families and you've persevered despite all the challenges that life thrown, has thrown at you. You haven't given up. You are here and you are graduating. So you have every right to be incredibly proud of your achievements, to be incredibly proud of your resilience, to be incredibly proud of the determination that you've shown. Always remember that. You did it. Now, throughout the last year, the University of Greenwich has had, also had some amazing success. We've been named by the student crowd as the best UK university in 2023 which is the only independent award that's based entirely on student reviews. And this outstanding result is a testament to the dedication and work that we do to support our students, enriching your overall experience with us. And throughout the past year, our teams have worked tirelessly to provide extensive cost of living support, including doubling our hardship fund, giving out vouchers, providing free meals and much more. And we've also made significant investments in our mental health and wellbeing services, expanding our provision to include a wider range of in-person and online drop-in sessions. Now, we sincerely hope that during your time with us, you thoroughly enjoyed and made the most of the diverse array of events available on our campuses, such as career mentoring, design shows, mock trials, shark expo, and many others. And these engaging activities were designed to foster personal growth, enhance your skills, and create some really memorable experiences. In June, the university achieved a significant milestone by being ranked among the top 100 global institutions in the Times Higher Impact Ratings, which measures our contribution to society and the planet. And we're particularly proud to have been ranked 20th in the category of reducing inequalities in the world. We also have amazing research happening, which is making a real difference to people's lives locally, nationally, and across the globe. Dr. Andrew Knighthill's project is working on delivering state-of-the-art facilities for creative and cultural research around drama, film, architecture, music, and sound. And it's expected to contribute to regional development of Southeast London via the Woolwich Creative District and across the UK, bringing benefit to students and communities in London and beyond. Another example is the FACET project in the Greenwich Business School. This project has been working with partners from Flanders, the Netherlands, France and England, and it's working to find ways to support businesses in the tourism sector to be more sustainable, and I know that's something that's close to all of your hearts. Finally, this year, the University of Greenwich has been ranked eighth in the People and Planet University League. That's a really great achievement as we've climbed up 15... Ooh. Let's hope that was okay. That's a really great achievement as we've climbed up 15 places. Our students always tell me that sustainability is their number one priority. So this is a particularly special achievement for us, recognising our green and ethical credentials. Now, during the welcome speech, you've already heard of some of the great things that colleagues in your faculty have achieved throughout the last few years. And actually, I was really delighted to hear about how many of the great things that alumni have achieved. So I'm waiting to hear what you're all going to achieve. And I, but I'd like us to take a moment to really recognize the wonderful faculty staff and the wider teams working at our university. No institution exists without its staff. And these are the people that have supported you on your journey with us as well. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask all of our academic and professional service staff to stand up, please. So if you could all stand up and around the room, if you could stand up. They will all think they're hidden at the back, but they're not. If you could all stand up for me, that would be great. And what I'd like you all to do is to join me in thanking the Pro Vice-Chancellor, the faculty's senior team, and each and every member of staff for everything that they do 
to support our students and to make the University of Greenwich what it is, which is a wonderful, friendly and supportive place to be. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Graduates, we want you to go out to the world and be proud of the institution that you will always be part of. Our new strategy 2030 is extremely ambitious about what the future holds for us and for our students. We want to have net zero carbon emissions to ensure that all of our graduates have the best future for them, to be the best modern university in the UK and to be in the top 30 of the Guardian League table by 2030. And we will do this, and we will do it by being inclusive, collaborative and impactful, and by putting student and staff mental health and well-being at the core of what we do. So we promise you to continue to work really hard to improve in the future so that you can be at just as proud of us. Now, graduates, as of today, you have joined a global alumni community, and that's now over 270,000 strong. And now more than ever, this community is a really powerful resource to lean on. And they, along with the university, are here to help you progress in your graduate career and navigate the next stages of your journey. So on behalf of the University of Greenwich, I wish you all huge congratulations on your wonderful successes and achievements and I'm really excited to hear about what the future holds for you all. So thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, that concludes this morning's presentation of successful award holders of the University of Greenwich. Would guests please remain seated until the processions have left the chapel and await further instructions from stewards. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your celebrations today.